Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. You know, um, I got sent uh, a video um, yesterday, and I'm not sure if I was going to share it or not. It was a video of Stewart's Memorial Service. We went to Stewart's, you know, as you guys know, um, Stewart's house. Unfortunately, he had passed before we got there to help fulfill one of his dying wishes, which was to take care of his mother. And the family wanted all of us to, of course, come to the memorial service. And I get there and they asked me to speak. Any of you know I am not, uh, or anybody who's known me from high school and stuff knows that speaking in public used to be the, the thing that would scare me to death. I couldn't speak in public. I still to this day sometimes can't believe that I speak in public. Uh, I will butcher words left, left and right. I will let you know I'm the, the word butcher, the name butcher, and everything else. And people make fun of it, and that's cool. It's not like I haven't had people making fun of me since I was a kid. I hadn't seen the video of speaking at the memorial service. I miss Stuart. I really and truly do. I truly miss Stuart because I've talked to Stuart on a daily basis. Um, and right now, this time of year, it would be we'd be doing fantasy football videos and things together. And I do miss him so much. That was the hardest thing that I probably have ever had to do was to get up there and speak about my friend who's no longer here. But I dare say that that may be the greatest speech that I've ever had. I share this with you guys. I wanted to I wanted to honor Stuart. That's why we went down and did what we did for his mother's house. And um, she loves the work that we've done. She's more comfortable than she's been. She misses her son. But I wanted to fulfill a promise to a friend. The second part of it, which was for the Cowboys to win a Super Bowl. I worked hard on trying to pass that on to Micah Parsons, and I, I don't think that that actually sunk in. If I could have one wish, one wish and one wish only, I wish I could share this with the Dallas Cowboys players about Stewart. Stewart, who was a diehard Dallas Cowboy fan who lived and breathed about the Cowboys. He dreamed about going to a game at AT&T, but being in the wheelchair was not easy for him. And he, of course, wanted to meet Dak Prescott, which, of course, can't happen now. But if the one wish that I could have would be for them to see this and to dedicate the season to Stuart Morrison's memory. I do YouTube. My mascot is Joe Boo. If you've ever seen the movie Major League, you'll understand you know, Joe Wu was there to kind of help uh, Toronto hit curveballs. And that's been the, me, the theme and the motto for my channel. And it's spread the mojo. Stuart reached out to me about four years ago for Gene to walk. And he wanted me to make a couple little pieces that they could do for giveaways uh, for his charity. And over the years, he kept saying, Mark, we got to do fantasy football. I said, Stuart. I hate fantasy football. Fantasy football ruins real football because people think that you can just trade a guy and bring somebody else in and then all of a sudden they're going to play good. It doesn't work that way. He's like, no, man, you got to do fantasy football. So we started doing fantasy football and stuff, and he is so good with the numbers. He can literally just spit out numbers left and right and so forth. And as Stewart started going through first the leg issues and stuff. We started talking you know, every day, sometimes a couple of days as he was going through his trauma and stuff. But he never took his 
ailments or anything else. Like it was something that wasn't fair to him. He was always so giving. He would buy football squares uh, for you and say, hey Mark, I got this football square for you. I got one for Rasheed and stuff. And the funniest thing was when the Giants were playing Washington. And this is where strange things always happen with Joe Boone. The Washington football team was kicking the field goal. And it turned out I had the numbers that if they made the field goal, boom, I went $200. My friend Rasheed, who was a Giant fan, had they missed the field goal, would win $200. And if you saw that game, they kicked that field goal, and they missed. So my friend Rasheed's going crazy. It's like, yeah, I won. And then all of a sudden, there's a penalty fun. <laughs> Offsides on the Giants. And they turned around, kicked the field goal, and won. So it was just kind of like those kind of things that happened between us. Then back to Joe Boo. Great things have always happened since I've had Joe Boo and being part of my mouth. I, I don't, look, I don't think I do voodoo. Okay, I'm not, you know, sacrificing chickens or anything like that. But the relationships that I have, the reason that I was able to do this was because of spreading the mojo. I have my man Mark who's over, you know, cooking all kinds of stuff. I've got Eric who came over and he's hauling away debris. I've got my man Brian and Ryan, and, you know, people who I've never actually met before all came together because of Stuart's vision. As we talked on a daily basis and as he was going through his pain and everything, he would tell me exactly what he was going through. I had said for years, you know, we got to go to a game together because he said, I always want to go to a game to, at AT&T. Fortunately, we didn't get that opportunity, but I said, we have to get together and meet. And once he got sick and found out about the cancer, I was thinking about my own brother who I lost about a year and a half ago. And I didn't have before he passed because the time was too short. Once we heard that, me and my wonderful wife, Tracy, we said, we've got to go to him. We've got to do what he wants us to do. And every single day when he talked and he would tell us about what was going on and what the prognosis was, I had a feeling that the time was not going to be as long as we had hoped. But it always ended with, you've got to take care of my mom. That was one of two wishes that he had. One, I'm fulfilling. Second one, that's on you, Cowboys. So, with Joe Boo, he's got a little flask. This room has been in here for about five years. I didn't get here in time to pass that veggie from the left hand side, but you still. But I'm going to at least toast one to you. Here, here. Let me leave off with this one thing because the legacy Stewart has is bringing all of us together. And if not been for Stewart and his wishes, none of us would be here together, or at least I wouldn't be here with you guys. And my life has truly been touched. We always joked about Skip and Shannon Sharp, but Shannon Sharp said something that will always stick with me. And that is every day you are writing your eulogy. When I do my fireside chat at night, I always end it by saying, tell somebody you love that you love them because you might not get the chance again. I'm telling all of you, I love you. And make sure you tell somebody that you love. Don't wait. Life is too short, life is too precious. But you love them. Thank you.